Greetings, this is Leah Salmon, the Naturally You Coach. And the other day I asked mamas, um, did they care how quickly they popped back after pregnancy? And this is in response to the pressure that was being put on a lot of celebrities to pop back and the reports of, you know, oh, Beyonce popped back really quickly after her birth and other celebrities popped back quickly after their birth and the pressure that's put on women to return to their pre-baby weight after they've had a baby, regardless of the, you know, how challenging their pregnancy were, or was or how their birth was, um, or just how their body operated. There was just this pressure, as always, there's always a pressure put on women's um, bodies. So I wanted to ask the sisters, and thank you for everyone who did comment and share what they thought. A lot of mothers just didn't care, <laughs> or it took them a few children to, to begin to care. And then thankfully, a lot of sisters were just like, you know, what? I was loved up with my baby or, to, you know, too loved up with my baby to be worried about what my weight was. Um, some of them are still carrying baby weight and they feel good with it. Other mothers were more concerned about producing breast milk than how quickly they pop back. Um, thinking back to myself, so I've had seven children. Um, I've been pregnant seven times in the last, well, over a 12 year period. And for about 10 years, it's only been the last two years things have been better for but for about 10 years, um, I actually suffered from low self-esteem. And um, I actually only worked this out the other day. So I suffered from low self-esteem, which resulted in me not being very considerate about the clothes that I did wear. I was, I did kind of stick to maternity clothes and wore quite frumpy clothes. Um, I wasn't very interested in my looks in general because I, and, and therefore I avoided looking in mirrors. We didn't have a full length mirror in the house. I never really saw myself full length. I was very consumed with the children and with the big family and with the home educating and the businesses, which very much took my attention off me very basically being concerned about how I looked and however I did look it was covered up with all the the baggy loose clothing clothing that I did wear um and it would be only times when I would maybe see a picture of myself like a photograph of myself that I would recognize or see um my weight and I do remember a few times when you know, the babies were maybe like eight, nine months old and I would see a picture of myself and realize, oh my gosh, I do, you know, I would realize how I looked and I would see that maybe I was bigger than I thought I was or I would realize how big I was because I just wasn't paying any attention to it at all. And when you've got low self-esteem, you don't expect to see anything good when you look in the mirror. So you don't really get surprised when you see something that isn't good. But when I would look in the mirror and be surprised, even though I had low self-esteem and I would still be surprised, oh my gosh, you this is how you look. That's when I would normally, it would normally shift my focus to not necessarily wanting to look good for looking good's sake, but I, I, you know, overstood that when your body is carrying excess weight, it does have an impact on your health, your hormone levels, your immune system, your circulatory system, many different things. So that would be what would normally remind me, okay, Leah, you need to start looking after yourself again, because that is another thing with self-worth. When you have low self-worth for whatever reason, it does stop you from looking after yourself it, you have to be reminded to look after yourself so though it would be at those times when I would normally be reminded or when when babies are like kind of eight to 12 months old things get a little bit easier for me with our babies so things got a little bit easier which gave me a little bit more time for me to focus on myself and it would normally be at those times that I would realize okay Lee you need to start looking after yourself that's when I would start exercising more regularly and and in fact what would normally happen is just after the baby came and I'm still on that emotional high that hormonal high that's when I would you know do a lot of exercising normally when the baby's about three months no sorry until the baby's about three to four um months old uh, uh baby girl that's when I would do um exercising and then I would pop back quite quickly in the first few weeks of the baby's life then things would tail off when babies just grow <laughs> so things would be cool just after the baby came then there'd be that hiatus from about a month until about eight months old and then I would kick in back into gear with more exercise and looking at my diet and doing some cleansing and that's normally when I would get pregnant again so whilst I didn't necessarily care for health reasons I would always um want to get my body back into some kind of a decent shape straight afterwards but there would be that time where it's just like all I care about is getting as much sleep as I possibly can and keeping the house in order so if you jump back onto my um post you'll probably see that question if you want to go ahead and answer it or you want to put your answer did you care how you you, how quickly you pop back after your baby underneath this video i'd love to hear from you take care and stay healthy